Hi, this is Izzy Castro, LTA Photos, and uh, today I'm going to do a quick review of the uh, vertical battery grip for the Sony A6000 by Newer. I recently purchased this, maybe approximately, uh, I'll say a good four weeks since I have it, and uh, just like uh, a lot of people have uh, reported, I had a message of incompatible battery and uh, I got that message uh, right when it was uh, down uh, it was less than 20 percent power I turned it off I turned it back on and the message went away, went away. Uh, however I was aware of the issue I was just waiting to see if it's gonna happen with this one because I noticed that the uh, the battery caddy right here when you put it in in the uh, in the grip it doesn't have play this particular one doesn't have it so I figured maybe they fixed that issue because a lot of people complain that it was a lot of a lot of play in it here with this it goes in just fine uh, let me uh, illustrate and put the batteries uh, in, in the caddy and I'm going to show you how it fits on the, in this in this camera. Uh, I mean, in this grip here. Okay, now I have the batteries in here already in, in the caddy, and uh, this is the where it makes the connection inside. So that will be the first connection. So we're going to take the power grip. I'm going to open it. Now I'm going to insert this here. And if you notice, it's not as much play as others that I've seen uh, in other videos. This may have maybe an eighth of an eighth of, eighth of an inch play. Makes me believe that maybe that kind of solved the issue. I don't know if uh, if I got that message because I, I shook the camera, or maybe it was maybe it was th this wasn't tight down uh, enough and I didn't realize it but let me just close this now the batteries are in here's the dummy battery we take the camera we open the bottom let the original battery out and we put this one in its place like so and when you push this this little piece of rubber comes out allowing it to have the contacts out now these contacts are going to match with this make sure that is line up i hope i'm in, in view oh and by the way there was an issue i had to cut this a little bit off here because it was interfering with the with my my screen so i had to file that down a little bit here so that works better that one I figure out by myself. Uh, after a couple, after a couple of weeks, me uh, struggling with it, I said this has got to be a better way to do this. So now uh, the camera is on it. Let me do a quick pause, and we're back. Let me make sure that I'm in uh, in, in in view here. Okay, we're perfect. <laughs> now I'm gonna turn on the camera and see what happens. No problem. Uh, you can take the uh, cover off. There you go. Take this box out of the way. Oh, so you can turn it off. And turn it back on. When I purchased this, I purchased recently all the other uh, reviews. Let me tighten this thing up. All the other reviews I noticed that they were like from last year. And I guess it was a brand new product out there. And all these bad, re uh, bad reviews uh, forced Noor to kind of make some changes into this, except they forgot to fix this issue here where the, uh, where the monitor is, uh, the screen. Uh, here's the the remote trigger, which I mean I, I don't use because I have uh, I have another tr uh, remote control for video 
and for the uh, for sales that I used to use on my other uh, Sony and it works on this one and um, but if you don't want to use that oh, I also use my cell phone with the application uh, the Sony memory play memory and it does quite well the only thing I'm gonna tell Sony is to please fix that so that you can actually shoot video while monitoring on your cell phone just like the GoPro uh, does that'll be a great uh, addition to, this, to that program um, because a lot of times you, uh, you have to have this camera away from you in my case I use a monopod and sometimes I use it as a crane to take high shots uh, of, uh, of vehicles and whatnot uh, so when it's that high uh, definitely uh, a way to to view uh, uh, works very well with the stills of course uh, but if I could shoot video from high above uh, controlling it from the cell, cell phone would be a very good addition so Sony please uh, developers uh, see if you can uh, add that on do a little fix or something you know uh, update the uh, the software so that we can do that as well and make this a more versatile uh, feature and finally let me uh, put this uh, control here this little wire right here um, the issue uh, on that incompatible battery is nothing more than uh, a back connection and when the camera detects the back connection immediately will tell you that there's no that it is either no battery or it was incompatible like I said today and today is uh, July ooh, July the 10th uh, 2016 today I got that message but in, in hindsight it might have been that I didn't have this thing tight so the connection was a little loose or whatever because I haven't I haven't uh, check my connections you know I didn't I didn't make sure that this thing was tight or whatever so it could have been that uh, so far in the past four weeks no issues but I will continue observing and reporting in case something happens but this is your uh, original battery here uh, this one right here um, the Sony I mean the cost difference between this the newer ones and, and this one uh, it's not much so if you feel uh, more comfortable buying the Sony brand do so so now I'm gonna give this a try with this uh, uh, remote and and then after that this will conclude my review for today okay now we're back and okay this is what I discovered uh, I haven't I haven't even tried this remote control on this camera but if you hit if I hit it nothing happens now uh, upon closer look this wire over here which is supposed to be the trigger that that controls the trigger if I press the button over here you hear it and it shoots it works just fine if I try to use this remote control, nothing happens. Well, it seems that there's a problem with the connection here. So I have to pull this thing out a little bit in order for this to kind of work. And then it shoots. See? Problem is that it's constantly focusing see which is not a bad thing but if you want to see if you want to see the the picture you can't because this thing is in constant focusing mode a focus mode if you will so I don't recommend you use this one set your camera push this in go to your menu 
on 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 this one here where it's the little suitcase on option uh, uh, menu number three and the third option is remote control use from off turn it on my recommendation is to get this remote control right here it's made by JCC it is for uh, a, a different NEX uh, Sony NEX cameras including the A6000 Sony 65 uh, A65 and this one you can actually start and stop video and take pictures and you have the two second delay here so when you hit this with your two second uh, direction around uh, <laughs> oh you gotta remember to take it out of the, the take it out of the uh, menu otherwise it's, you're not gonna do anything so you have your two second shots you have your video which in this case let me just turn it over this way and I don't think it'll work from behind but let's give it a shot yes it is indeed and it's recording video right now as you can see right here it's recording and you hit it again and that'll stop it then you have your single shot and uh, it's, it, it works much better and also when you viewing uh, the pictures you have the remote control like you have uh, the option to connect this to your TV and um, you can go through your menus here uh, it's a little bit more elaborate and whatnot once you get into that but it's, it's a lot more convenient it's only like eight bucks I have two of these um, one one uh, I, I bought a while back ago and I decided to buy a second one just in case you have it in different bags and whatnot but sometimes you forget but this thing here uh, unfortunately I can't say that it that it works very well but it's giving me the extra power uh, the extra uh, shutter uh, button uh, I mean it's not it's not your $300 one um, if you're a professional and you're making lots of money doing this yeah sure three hundred dollars why not it'll get it'll pay for itself in one job but if you're like me that you're a hobbyist more i'm a photographer for many years but that's not how i'm making my living right now this is something that i love to do it's uh, my art and you know this is just one of my tools to create my art well then i recommend the 70 dollars one <laughs> this is seventy dollars because this comes with two batteries this and you know and and um it's like a whole kit uh you can buy it cheaper if you have already have batteries you can just put the batteries in and that's it uh, it doesn't come with a charger because it comes equipped with a micro uh, usb in other words you can use any uh, micro USB cable attached to a wall charger and it can charge both batteries now it's also recommended that you um, take it off before you charge it according to the instructions me uh, particularly me at work I just simply plug it in up here and instead of directly to the and it charges just fine it doesn't give me any problems um, I don't know why they don't recommend that you leave it attached but um, I went around it and I when, when you have the USB uh, plug uh, save in your computer you're downloading pictures and you turn off this camera but you still keep it in the USB the, the yellow light will come on and it'll charge the camera for as long as you keep it there so that in itself is gonna it's gonna help a lot uh, when you shoot, especially when I was using a single battery. Um, last week I, I left it uh, on the computer uh, attached by the USB and it's, it was charging. 
I left it there for three or four hours and when I checked it it was 100% again. So it worked and it didn't give me any any hassles. I'd rather do it that way so that I don't keep on, you know, connecting and disconnecting, connecting and disconnecting, creating uh, a wear. So I, I'd rather just leave it personally. That's me. Uh, I, I'm not telling anyone to do it. I'd rather just leave it. However, if I'm going to charge this overnight, I detach it to, from the camera and I charge it right through here. Um, but like I said, it, I th it worked just fine uh, charging it the, the, the usual way that the, the, ca the camera charges. And um, overall, I, I, uh, overall in, in, in a great... Grading it from one to ten, uh, I will give it a, uh, I will give it a, a an eight, an eight. Um, this part here, in my case, it's not working very well. Maybe it might be a, a defect on my little cable here. It could be that, or it could be a defect in the in the assembly on the inside. I don't know. But is it worth messing around with that when, when I have this? Not really. This is more versatile. Uh, it gives me more range. It's a much nicer uh, uh, remote control, and it does a, a great job. So, uh, in my opinion, uh, the newer Power Grip for Sony A6000, um, I rated an eight. And, and that concludes my 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 review for this uh, item today. Thank you for watching. This is LTA Photos and Media. Your host Izzy Castro. Till next time.